Getting to know you, getting to feel free and easy. What audiences come to expect from a Rodgers and Hammerstein musical is sort of great music, and I think they expect a kind of sweeping big story. Haven't you noticed? Suddenly I'm bright and breezy. Because you see the position of women in traditional cultures and whether or not that can be changed or transformed. And they, it's unexpected. And Anna is a real advocate for women and their position in society and fighting for her own position. Whenever I feel afraid, to take it on the road, you have to really go back to a proscenium, which is the picture frame of the theater. In a curious way, we found that it actually makes it stronger than it was at Lincoln Center. That you're much more aware of this kind of metaphorical wall that we have across the back of the set, that this was a closed society. On one level, it's a form of escapism because it does take you to a different time and place. The visuals and the storyline is uh, exotic and romantic. I think in every project that you do that's classical, there's these iconographic moments that need to be there. And I think the audiences want to see that hoop skirt and want to see Anna dance. Jose, he's got enormous charm, virility, intelligence. He's magically gifted vocally. He can do anything. He's incredibly funny. He can be serious. And Laura Michelle Kelly is honestly one of the best musical theater performers among women in the world. <laughs>